Hi guys. I had someone ask me to hang on one second. I I really don't like this lighting. Okay, this is a bit better. So, I had someone ask me what my daily foundation routine is in the last video, because I kind of just did my foundation and didn't show you guys how, because it was an eye makeup tutorial video. But today I'm going to. So, step one, remove the foundation that I'm already wearing. Okay, so sorry for the bad lighting, but this is the best lighting for you to see what my skin looks like without any of my makeup on. So, first step that you want to do, lotion. I am using a Rock Multi Correction. Now, usually this is a product for like Asian skin, I think, because it's my mom's, but I have no other lotion right now, so. I actually really like this one, actually, but it is really lightweight, and apparently it likes to pour out really weird. So, a little bit on my finger, and a little bit all over my cheek, and up the side of my nose all around my eye. I'll have to touch up my makeup later. Oh well. So usually I do it around like my actual eye too, but I did that earlier. Then I take a bit and I rub it around my nose because I have very weird skin. It is oily right here in my T-zone and it is dry in all of its little corners like the corners of my eyes and around here on my nose. So I just like to take a little bit of extra lotion and go around once or twice more on the tip of my nose, make sure that it's really blended in. So, speeding this all up now. Okay, so I majorly messed up filming this step before. Luckily I didn't put any makeup on my face before I messed up. But what I'm using is All May Smart Shade. And this is actually the anti-aging one, but I wouldn't suggest it unless you're aging. It's the regular skin one is actually a lot better coverage. So, unfortunately, the bottle's a little tricky because if you squeeze it a little bit too hard, it goes shooting out everywhere, and that's what just happened to me, and now my jeans have concealer on them. So, <laughs> let's try this again. You take a little dab on your finger, like that. And I always remember to do this before I do my eyeshadow, but my eyeshadow was already done, so I'm just going to try to work around my makeup. So, fast forward. Okay, so the next step I do is I use my foundation. And I, right now, I'm using True Match Super Blendable Makeup in uh, Cool C1. Yes, C1. Okay, so I take my little bottle, and because it's almost empty, I like to shake it out onto my finger until I, there you go, until I feel it touch my finger and get that. And then I just smear it little war streaks on my face and I go in circles along my face and under my eyes like that and then I'll just fast forward to the cheek hello person at my door is it safe to speak? yes it is I'll just cut okay, this out remember that torrential downpour? yeah it's a fucking beautiful day outside right now <laughs> we had super super heavy rain earlier and now my roommate is telling me that it's beautiful and sunny out fuck you I'm your boyfriend He's my boyfriend. I live with my boyfriend there. God. Okay, sorry about that. But there, I put a little streak on my nose once I'm done with my cheeks, and I swirl it over my nose because you don't. What you don't definitely don't want to do is have it like like you have coverage, and then just bam, it's like another color. That is a sign that you are a applying your makeup way too heavy because I'm making sure that this is light and well blended. I'm not using that much makeup. It looks like I'm using a lot more than I actually am. So you see the dab that I used for my nose? It was only like that on the tip of my finger, and I actually got it out of the top of the lid. So I want to just wipe a little bit of that off for my chin, and rub it like that along my chin, because my chin already has makeup on it, so this is more to blend that in. And I don't know if you're like me, but I have hyperkeratosis polaris, which is a skin problem that most people have. Look it up if you want more info, I'll probably do a video on it later. 
and basically just the sides of my face are a lot more red so I just add a bit more makeup making sure to blend it into my skin because what I find a lot of girls get is like one their face is one color and their neck is another and that is not pretty so make sure you blend it into your skin and your neck if you're going to be doing makeup along the edges okay so I blended it into my cheeks I patted it along my eyes to blend that all together but not too heavy there since you already have makeup there and around my lips too because you don't want it to be lighter right there and darker there and then I just lightly blended up onto my forehead because I put a little bit of makeup on some acne there and a little tiny pat along the sides of my face and around my nose my problem areas just to blend everything together so what I'm going to do is take my very large fluffy brush, which I got for super cheap, but like at, at the dollar store. So you don't have to go super expensive, but what you want is it for it to be fluffy as heck and very soft and big. And I'm taking my powder and it is L'Oreal True Match. That is a wonderful brand. It's a wonderful bland. Yes, it's a wonderful brand. So. There, you just want to get it all along your forehead and into your cheeks, blending it super nice, but not adding too much powder. Maybe just go like nee nee nee. And you see the brush is just kind of light. And then once you run it along your face, lightly. Like this is like a feather running along my face. I want to blend it a little bit harder into my cheeks because I have very thick skin on my cheeks and very thin skin on my chin and my forehead. So you want to press a little bit lighter on your ch uh, on your thinner skin and a little bit heavier on your cheeks maybe if you've got especially if you've got red cheeks like me okay so there's one last step but that is that is the foundation routine right there but if you want to get it extra fancy I have this blush which I am actually not sure what this is all it says is dimension eyeshadow okay so apparently my blush is an eyeshadow citrus flip no idea who it's by all I know is it's amazing but really with me the quality of the blush is going to go by how well it sticks to your face and your makeup and how good the color is. Like I know I can't go more orangey, I should go more pinky as that's my skin tone. I am white with pink undertones. You might want to go a bit orangey if you have yellow undertones. So I just want to take a bit patting it on there and I want to blow on it. Get all the excess powder off so I don't add too much. And notice I am using two different brushes for this. This was my foundation brush. This is my blush brush. Two different ones. This one is a bit harder and the bristles are firmer, so it sticks the makeup on a little bit better. I don't want that fluffy, airy coverage. I want them to be able to notice that blush is there, them being people in general. Or as you guys probably will see either earlier or at the end of the video, my boyfriend, who so kindly walked in on the middle of my video and decided to disturb me. <laughs> So, it helps if you smile like this. Get your cheeks right up there, because I know I don't have profound cheekbones. I smile like a goofball. There, very well rubbed in. You can see my cheeks there are actually kind of tingly. Thanks for watching, you guys. Remember, it'll please the dolphins if you like it and subscribe. Alright, so I have my super bright light back now. So, thanks for watching, you guys. I hope this helped you out. I know my videos are like crazy long, but. Remember, it'll please the dolphins if you like and subscribe. Bye!